Hey, you, are listening, you are listening to Sipping Off the Cuff, tequilaaficionado.com. Having a lot of a lot of fun here. This is Alex Perez, and I'm with uh, Mike Morales, our executive editor out in New Mexico. Mike, great to see you. Great to see you too, Alex. Uh, happy Friday. <laughs> Thank you. It is Friday, Friday night for us. It's a Friday night, Saturday. And, uh, Just, and you know, uh, we, it's it's all good. It's all good. Every every night's a Friday night for us. That's it. But we are going to be trying some uh, Pura Vida tequila. Pura Vida tequila from one of our favorite distilleries, uh, Nome 1414. It's the uh, Vivancos. Yes, Feliciano Vivanco y Asociados. And, uh, and we've got the triple distilled Blanco that we're going to be trying today. Pura Vida's triple distilled Blanco, if you can, if you can check that out. Isn't it? It's a beautiful blue bottle, isn't it? It's a nice cobalt blue. Uh, I've noticed a lot of these, uh, a lot of these new brands are coming, uh, with, uh, fluorescent labels. And, uh, the, the knob looks kind of familiar, doesn't it? Doesn't it look, doesn't it reminiscent it's kind of, of the whole kind of Yep. A little <laughs> bit. A little bit. Kind of a, kind of a, uh, one of my favorites. Uh, it's an homage to Casanova, right? Yeah. Uh, beautiful it, bottle. It, love, love the bottle. Feels like a Chinaco bottle, too, if you look at it a little bit. It's got yes, that, it like, uh, yes, uh, like a like a, a a sack of some sort, you know, like a like a leather pouch to carry water in or something like that. If you, if you want, yes. <laughs> you know. um, well, let's I, try it. It's a triple distilled. Yes. And obviously, we're using our our Regals as always. It's Regal our, glasses. Our official they're, glass for tasting. Yes, they're the only tool really for for tequila tasting at this point, other than snifters, and this. Is a beautiful Blanco. Um, for those of you not familiar with Nome 1414, uh, the Vivanco family, everything that they produce out of that distillery is, is using what I call the Mozart method. And you might want to keep an eye on tequilaaficionado.com because I am wrapping up my article on explaining the Mozart method. We've actually had a chance to speak with the, the founding fathers of modern tequila who who developed this this uh, process. Give us and, give us a little give us a little snippet of, of what that is. The uh, method for our viewers. Well, what happens is uh, these two uh, chemical engineers are known for using uh, uh, playing baroque music, specifically baroque, while the tequila is fermenting. So, so in, by by the vats by the. By the vats, yes, uh, and and the, the the idea is that the yeast is is a live organism, and the music, uh, due to the vibrations of the music against the the vat, either it's stainless steel or wood. I, I think they use stainless steel at uh, at Nome fourteen fourteen. It, it allows the the yeast to do its work much more efficiently all the way down, where the yield. From that fermentation is much higher than when they don't play the music, or if they play anything other than baroque. For instance, if they play rock music, it's detrimental to to the to the process. They don't like it. They don't like it. <laughs> they don't like it. So and we're talking. So we're talking about happy yeast here. Happy yeast. Yes. Happy, happy yeast. Happy well, yeast makes excellent tequila and more tequila. It's, it's scientific fact. Yes. Uh, it has been measured. Uh, when I spoke to uh, Juan Manuel, who is uh, the the distillery manager at Nome 1414, when I was there a couple of years back with David Searle, he said, and he looked at me and he said, you know, I'm I'm a numbers guy. He said, I didn't believe this stuff either until we did the numbers. When we played the music, we we achieved a higher yield when we than when we didn't play the music. He says, as long as we you know produce more, I'm all for it. And there are several other brands out there that are using this method, but everything out of Nome 1414, it has a cult following because the tequila is just really special. So why don't we try this Blanco, Alex? And, sure. And, uh, and this I'm, is you. I, have I was going to say. I was going to say. I, I'm sorry. I don't mean to interrupt you. Uh, I was going to say out of uh, Nome 1414, you have uh, Chamucos, which is one of my favorites. Well, the old uh, Chamucos. Have, or the old Chamucos, I should say. Excuse me. Correct, correction. The new one is is no longer made there. No, uh, you have uh, Siembra Sur, which you just mentioned, uh, David Siro. Mm -hmm. um, who else? 
We have a uh, Noblesa Azul. Which we have a taste now. Yeah, we have a brand new one called Grand Ovejo, which is which is we're going to be looking at uh, sometime later on at sipping off the cuff. Oh, Muchote, Muchote is the 1414. Muchote, one of our favorites, known 1414, and 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 also this this one this little prize beauty here that I have. This is the flagship tequila of known 1414. It's mm. called Viva Mexico. This is almost absolutely unobtainable unless you're in Mexico. If you can find it, and you probably will, get a bottle of it because you will not be disappointed. This is mm. probably this is some of the finest tequila that you will taste, and this is their flagship tequila from Known 1414. So it, as you can see, I have a very little of it left. Very little, little. Very slip. little. Yeah, this was given to me as a as a present by by another uh, another um, uh, tequila from Known 1414. And the reason I have it here is because I want your opinion, first of all, Alex, on what you think this Blanco is like. Um, you first. Well, it is, uh, it's got a beautiful color. Obviously, the lighting in here is, isn't, uh, isn't very good, but it's, uh, it's crystal, crystal clear. And it's got an incredible nose, and I haven't even, haven't even, uh, swirled the glass yet. I can already smell the, a little bit of mint in there. Mm, I love the mint. So I always, you always want to smell it right after you pour it in in the glass, and then swirl it. That way, you get all the all the alcohols out, and kind of air out the uh, tequila. It pours beautifully, too, Alex. It it just it pours. Uh, it is almost a trademark. Of, of all these tequilas from Known 1414, how beautifully it pours, the bubbles, uh, the legs, uh, uh, the tears, and, and the agave punch. Of course, not every, not every brand at Known 1414 uses, uh, the same agave. And, um, I'm gonna let you tell me what you, what you taste and, 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 and I wanna compare it with what I have. Mm, it's got a beautiful nose. I, I love the mint in there. And uh, it's just full, full of agave. Let's try to taste it. Mm. Wow. Very nice. It's outstanding. It's outstanding. Mm. I, I don't want to I don't want to influence anybody. It's got a roasted I got the roasted agave in my mouth. Yep. And and I got to tell you, Alex, when I first tasted it, it was it was very familiar to me. And and having had many of the tequilas out of Known fourteen fourteen, hmm. uh, you know each of these has of course different flavor profiles, but this one is so extremely close to the flagship tequila Viva Mexico that it leads me to believe and I don't know this for a fact but it leads me to believe that they are using the Vivanco's uh, agave from their fields the difference is there's a slight difference between the Pura Vida and and the Viva Mexico and the difference is in the triple distillation mm -hmm. this the is Viva all Mexico. The Viva Mexico is, is, is more of a double traditional distilled. double distilled. This one is a triple distilled. And I, if, if, unless you knew what you were looking for, you would say they were virtually the same tequila. But they are not. This, they, they, they are about a hair different. And I think the triple distillation makes a big, big difference. But if you've never had Viva Mexico, Alex, you're, you're, you're tasting it very similarly right now with Pura Vida. And I'm a big Excellent. fan of all. It, it really is Blanco. beautiful. Excellent Blanco. It's got a now, delicate nose, beautiful mouthfeel. Goes down really easy. No, no, no burn whatsoever. And that agave is so fragrant. It is, it is, it, it, it is. is so fragrant. 
I've been to, to Nome 1414 and it's surrounded by fruit trees and, and, and grassy area. It's very calm, very quiet. It is open air fermentation. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the, what the distillation process is for Pura Vida. That's, that's proprietary, but they have got one hell of a tequila on their hands. Really very, very. Well, Pura Vida Blanco, I highly recommend it. I agree with you. I think, I think it's a keeper. It belongs in everybody. Anybody who's a fan of Known 1414 or who's a fan of ZZ Top. You know that Billy Gibbons is an <laughs> investor. Uh, there's a the the owner. His name is That's Stuart right. Moss, and Stuart is is a character. Uh, if you read any of the uh, the, the news uh, stories on him, he is he's quite an entrepreneur. It's really a a, a very um, worthy story of reading. But I got to tell you, this tequila, even though you got ZZ Top behind it and it's a fun party kind of thing, this is a very elegant tequila. Very elegant. It is. It is. It's a very elegant. I think. I think uh, they've made a winner. I agree with you, and I think we should tell the folks that we're gonna we're gonna stop right here, and they should join us because we're going to taste the next in line of, of the varietals. The, the it's technically a reposado, but they call it a gold. They call so it a gold. They call it a gold. So hang in there with us, and you've seen uh, Sipping Off the Cuff. We're talking about Pura Vida. This is the Blanco Triple Distilled, and we'll be talking about the Reposado here very shortly. Thanks for listening, and as always, sip wisely. <laughs>